Then are there any workforce housing programs or initiatives of any sort? You know, there are. It's a great question. I think it's, it's really a, uh, hmm, how can I put this? It's an undersupplied market for in the capital space. And, uh, you know, because traditionally true affordable housing was, I think, the, the most well-known need in the marketplace and the most extreme need, all the government programs are oriented to that marketplace, meaning this true affordable, the, all the nonprofits that serve those communities. Um, <clears throat> and that's in the more mainstream media. If you think of HUD, right, uh, you know, federal level housing and urban development department, you know, that's who, the, that's who that government entity serves, right? Uh, luxury housing sort of takes care of itself as the, if the market's sufficiently viable and we're in an uptick in the market cycle on the economic cycle, then, you know, there's capital for that. And there has been traditionally, but this space in between is really new. And people argue, what do I mean by new? But if you think about it and you hear stories as I do, that people say, oh, in the old days, I could get a, uh, a you know, I could be a, have my first job and I could afford to rent a unit, you know, on my own, or I could afford to buy a house. Now what you hear today, particularly amongst the, the younger folks who are in the beginning of their careers, they cannot. And so I think that's one piece of evidence. I mean, there's others. One piece of evidence that says basically that housing prices and incomes have diverged. Remember, we talked about this gap in a minute or, or a minute ago. Uh, that is where that middle income space really is starting to expand, right? If you, in fact, there was a stat I came across the other day, uh, California Housing Partnership writes... Uh, a market report on affordable housing and attainable housing. They happen to write about moderate income families. Uh, in LA County in 2019, the fastest growth in housing burdened households, meaning they're paying too much uh, of their income towards rent, the fastest growth was in the moderate income category. It was 56% growth in that space. Now that's mm -hmm. LA County, so that's a very specific set of people in that particular geographic region. But I think it really demonstrates that, you know, that is the highest growth area of burden, right? That they're having to pay too much and too much really is uh, defined as more than 30% of their income, right? The gold standard in the industry is 30% of income is the uh, correct amount of rent to pay as a function of your income so that you can afford the rest of the things that you need to do in your life. Is there a banking definition of uh, workforce housing? I don't think so. I think what mm. I spoke earlier, this 80 to 120 would be the closest mm. to a bank definition. Okay. Uh, and and let, me, let me be clear, uh, moderate income housing, 80 to 120, and there's middle income, moderate income, workforce housing. Those are all used interchangeably in many places, including by myself. Uh, there, there are programs that, that serve that and banks that will look for that particular space. But again, it's new. It's developing more sources of capital for that. But if you look at it com comp in comparison to the other, you know, true affordable and the market rate, uh, the amount of capital in that space is much, much lower. 